Hello, welcome to AGA CAD. In this video, I will introduce you how to distribute your sprinkler elements in the various geometries of a spaces using Smart Sprinkler Solution from Tools for Revit. Here I have a simple Revit project with uh, spaces inserted into, into the rooms. In this video, I will show you how to distribute uh, sprinklers in these spaces. I will use Smart Sprinkler Solution from Tools for Revit. You could find them under the Tools for Revit Smart MEP tab. You could use uh, drag and drop functionality here to work faster, not to going every time here. Uh, what I will do firstly, I will insert position symbols as virtual group. Uh, the position symbols identify the places of uh, elements that we will insert in the future, uh, the sprinkler places. And uh, after the distribution of position symbols, we will insert the real sprinklers on that places. And uh, if we will have some changes uh, in the project, we could easily manage again the virtual group and all the sprinklers will move together with the virtual group. So this is like a connection in between the smart sprinkler solution and the space. It doesn't matter what kind of project you are using. You are using uh, the Revit project or you are using the linked Revit project. Uh, so if you use the linked Revit project, you have to identify something inside the space. Either it could be the space mark or you could use any element in the space. I will use the space mark. Also, as you see, we could, uh, we could find the walls. But uh, if you will have the linked files, it doesn't work like this. So you have to press escape now. And as you see, the little cross appear here. Uh, we have to identify the near point uh, near, that, uh, near that wall that uh, you will use as x-axis. Then we have uh, two different position marks. One position mark is for upright position. Uh, of the sprinkler and the other is for the pendant sprinkler. I will use uh, pendant for example. And now as you see we have uh, the X and Y uh, narrows here. We could choose uh, the other wall if it's needed for X axis and Y axis. If I choose this one as you see everything changes here. And all the distribution will be according uh, the X and Y axis. Here you can uh, find uh, the length and the width of your space. As you see, it's on X and Y axis. Also, we have uh, we can find some information about our space or our room. Uh, here we have the room or space name. Uh, the room or space number and the level uh, at which uh, the room or space is located. Here we have the constraints. Uh, the virtual group elements will be installed with the default elevation here. And uh, the element placement elevation is the elevation where virtual group elements will be inserted. While inserting the first time, the elements will be placed on the top of the room or space. Uh, it is not necessary to put virtual group elements exactly on the face of the ceiling. Uh, it will not affect sprinkler's location if the host is specified. So if you have the ceiling, you have to find something something uh, the elevation near the ceiling elevation and uh, the sprinklers will automatically attach that ceiling here we have the element distribution planning the element distribution planning allows us to dis to distribute our elements in a space for example if we have the distances in x and distances in y uh, in between our sprinklers uh, for example, we have 2 meters on 2 meters and we could calculate the real number, the real number on x and y directions that will be placed in our space. I will push apply and as you see we have uh, the distribution. 
if I want, I could change it. it. Doesn't matter in what way you will change. And as you see, we have the distribution here. We have the other possibility not to write the distances in between the elements, but we could, could define the number of elements in x and y uh, directions. For example, I want three, uh, three sprinklers on x direction, that goes like this, and I want uh, four on y direction. I don't uh, want to calculate uh, according my distances, so I just press enter and apply all the configurations to my space. And as you see, the sprinkler distributes according my, uh, my defined numbers of elements on that directions. Now, as you see, uh, everything is placed in the middle of, uh, of a room or of a space, but, uh, we could, uh, we could distribute uh, them by spacing and uh, not to distribute them by spacing and uh, apply that configuration to our uh, distribution as, and as you see here we have such a configuration. Again, I will recalculate, I will add and again we have the simple one. Let's go further. Uh, here we have the placement parameters, the offset from origin from X uh, and from Y directions. For example, if I want to move uh, the first row from the X direction uh, beginning at, for example, 5 meters, I could write it here, I could apply that function, and as you see, we have here we have from the um, from the sprinkler to the face of uh, to the face of the wall we have five meters here if I want uh, to have the mirror view uh, the offset from the other side I could use the mirror functionality that allows uh, us to mirror our offset from origin I will show you and as you see it mirrors uh, this configuration after we have the factor of distance, the factor of distance uh, defines the mul multiple of distances. For example, if the factor of distance is set to 50 as here, uh, then distances between virtual group elements around it to nearest number which will be multiplied by 50. So that's the multipl multiplication factor. Also here we have the minimum distance from wall. Uh, it defines minimum distance uh, of elements from the wall. For example, if we have 500, uh, that 500 will be multiplied by 50, and we will get uh, here the distance between the sprinkler and uh, the wall. Let's go further. Here we have the configuration data. Uh, which allows us to define the number on x or y axis. If I don't have any any offsets, for example, but I know that I want only two rows of my sprinklers, I could write that and apply to my uh, to my project. The last thing what we have uh, here is uh, calculated data. We could find uh, the start on X and Y directions where the first sprinkler is located, the end of the last sprinkler is located, the real number of, uh, of uh, elements in a space and uh, the real distances in between those, uh, in between those elements. So, I will leave the 15, doesn't matter for me, and here I have uh, distributed my, uh, uh, my position symbols into a space. The second step is to place the real sprinklers on that position symbols, so I use the second functionality. You could use your families or you could use our created families uh, that are loaded into our sample project. 
and I will use them I will insert and as you see we have placed uh, our sprinklers in the middle of our position symbols now I could show you how to manage the virtual group for example if we change the space uh, we have to redistribute our our sprinklers and it's really easy I will show you in a second as you see they moved now they moved and uh, we could recalculate and as you see all the uh, sprinklers will move together our boundaries of a room or the space and again you could use the same functionality as before thank you for watching this video